Something the Germans used to devastating effect during World War II. Magnetic mines, huge explosives hidden in shallow water. Magnetic mines didn't need to come into contact with ships to explode. A change in the surrounding magnetic field can trigger them. This was usually caused by a large amount of metal passing above, like a ship. Obviously, that isn't a real ship. It's my remote control aircraft carrier. But it'll do to demonstrate the principles, because hidden out there in, well, in the paddling pool, is a magnetic mine. And to replicate the magnetic field of a steel ship, I've attached magnets to my wooden boat. OK. Setting sail. Here we go. Yeah. Magnetic mines really were a huge problem. Germany believed they were the secret weapon that would win the war. But before naval engineers could counter their threat, they had to figure out how the mines worked. Not easy when they were all submerged. And then the Navy got lucky. A mine was spotted as it was parachuted down into the Thames. This was it, the Navy's big chance to unlock the secrets behind Hitler's deadly weapon. As the tide receded, one officer, armed with some hastily made non-magnetic tools, went in to defuse the deadly device. The mission was a success, and the magnetic fuse was rushed off to be x-rayed. By the next day, the Navy experts had cracked it, and their solution took inspiration from a most unlikely source, the induction loop hearing aid. In 1937, Russian telephone engineer Joseph Polyakov developed a new way to help the hard of hearing, the very first induction loop hearing system. It allows the hard of hearing to hear a clear, amplified sound. And today, these systems are found in many public places. The principle is based on the relationship between electricity and magnetism. A microphone converts sound into an electrical current. That electrical current is then passed through a coil of wire. The current naturally creates a magnetic field. This is an induction loop. Any receiving coil positioned within that magnetic field will transform the field back into a matching electrical current. Once amplified, the original sound can be heard by anyone wearing a coil hearing aid, as long as they're within the range of the magnetic field. But how can something designed to improve hearing stop the mines from exploding? Well, it can't. It doesn't. What it does instead is make the whole ship disappear, to mines at least, and that's the important thing. Alistair Ballantyne is an electrical engineer, and he's going to show me exactly what happens on a ship. That is now replicating a giant aircraft carrier, a big metal ship moving across a magnetic mine. Brilliant, we can see what's happening. How do you stop it? When a current passes through a coil, it generates a magnetic field. So to counter the magnetic field generated by the magnets, all we need is a coil with current going through it. It's the same principle that Polyakov used in his induction loop hearing aid system. It creates our very own magnetic field. But to make the ship disappear to magnetic mines, the key is to create a field that cancels out the ship's natural one. So all we have to do now is put a, a, an electric current through your coil, yes. generate that magnetic field, and wham. It won't actually become invisible in front of us, because uh, if we could do that, be... it'll, it'll just be invisible to your magnetic sensor down there, yes. or more importantly, to your magnetic mine. All steel ships have a natural magnetic signature, which can be measured during sea trials. Once this is known, engineers pass a current through coils inside the ship's hull to create an opposing magnetic field. This neutralizes the signature, and the ship becomes magnetically invisible. Down here, deep in the hull, a 200-amp current is generated and sent out along coils running right around the ship. And I hope it'll work on my model carrier, too. How confident are you that it works? Very confident. Really? Well, yeah. well, I have not only another ship, I have another mine. What say we test it properly? Wisely taking the precaution of retreating a safe distance. So, your system is up and running. Yes. It's neutralising the magnetic signature of that small ship. Yes. Underneath it is a magnetic mine. Yes. If I switch that mine on with this switch, nothing should happen. 
Hopefully. Because the mine doesn't know the ship is there because your system is neutralising its magnetic signature. Yes. I'm making this tension worse, aren't I? Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> OK, right, well... All being well, nothing at all is about to happen. Now, that is <laughs> just this system neutralising the magnetic signature of that ship so it's not triggering the mine. Yes. It works. Yes. I mean, we know it works. Well, of you course, fit it to should, real ships, yeah. but yeah. it works there. Yes. We should just to prove the point. Shall we turn it on? If we were to switch your system off, all of a sudden the ship would have a magnetic signature again and it would trigger the mine. Yes. Turn it off. You can do it on a count of three. Three, two, one. Warships use the same principle today to hide themselves from the hundreds of mines still lying on seabeds in current and old battle zones.